covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Last week, Canonical released the latest intermediate version of Ubuntu 20.10, Groovy Gorilla, which for the first time adds first-class platform support for the Raspberry Pi 4. Groovy Gorilla itself is a pretty typical interim release, offering an updated GNOME version with lots of bug fixes and small feature additions. Support has also been added for Windows Active Directory in the Ubiquiti OS installer itself. And while it has been possible for some time to install Ubuntu on Raspberry Pi hardware, up until now that has been strictly a community effort. The Pi itself ships with Raspberry Pi OS, a Debian-based distribution whose origins began with the Pi community, but which has since been officially adopted and supported by the Raspberry Pi Foundation itself. While Canonical added the Pi as a supported platform in 20.04 earlier this year, that support was only for the Ubuntu server distribution, not desktop. With 20.10 Groovy Gorilla, Canonical has added full desktop support for the Pi 4. Martin Wimpress, Canonical's Director of Engineering for the Ubuntu Desktop, says this means the Pi is now a first-class citizen. Canonical guarantees the same level of integration, QA, and support from kernel to user space that it does for a standard PC. The entire Ubuntu software repository is available and supported on the Pi. Of course, that's other than architecture-specific packages that start with names like i386 and are therefore not compatible with the Raspberry Pi's ARM processor. If you'd like to install Ubuntu 20.10 desktop on the Pi, you'll need a 4GB or 8GB Raspberry Pi. As long as you meet the hardware requirements, the install is a breeze. Ubuntu 20.10 desktop is an option in the standard Raspberry Pi imager now. The imager itself is available for Linux, Windows, or Mac platforms. To get up and running, insert a 4GB plus micro SD card, open the imager, choose Ubuntu 20.10, and click Write. A few minutes later, you'll be able to boot the official Ubuntu 20.10 for Raspberry Pi 4. Big thanks to Roy W. Nash and our community of viewers for submitting stories to us this week. Thanks for watching the Category 5.TV Newsroom. Don't forget to like and, subscri and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And if you appreciate what we do, become a patron at patreon.com slash category5. From the Category 5.TV Newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson. <laughs>